Warning, this video contains massive abuse of the word Babel. What's going on, nation? A lot of you guys have been asking me for help when it comes to eliminating hip, knee, and shoulder pain when squatting. So, I decided that I wanted to tackle this head on today and give those of you who are training in pain some hope. Obviously, guys, the clear solution is months of proper stretching and mobility work to loosen up, but until that happens, there is a quick fix that you can start utilizing today. In fact, I just made a video along the same lines to help eliminate lower back pain when deadlifting. So if you guys missed that video, I will link to it down in the info section below. Now, I'm sure that to the majority of you, the straight bar is king when it comes to squatting. But is that because it's the only thing available to you or because there truly is nothing better? Well, I want you to take a moment and think about just how much your training gear has progressed since you started your fitness journey. You probably went from hitting the gym with running shoes, shorts, and a tank top to now wearing dry fit clothing, proper weightlifting shoes, a weight belt, wrist straps, and maybe even bringing your own little bag of chalk, if your gym allows it. But my point is, there are always ways to enhance your workouts, and that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Four reasons why the safety squat bar can help take your leg training to the next level. And to be honest guys, I actually picked up my safety squat bar from Gronk Fitness a few months ago because I had never really trained with one before and I was personally interested to see if it could really add a lot of benefits to my leg day training. And as always, I like to test things out on myself before I share my results with you guys. But before we get started, let's have a quick recap of the anatomy of the squat. So, the squat. This is by far one of the best lower body exercises you can do to build muscle and strength in your legs. There's no disputing that. It's a push movement that heavily activates your glutes, quads, and hamstrings, and there are actually two variations of the barbell squat depending on the position of the barbell on your shoulders. If you rest the barbell high across your shoulders and neck, it's called a high bar squat, which is what actually what I prefer. And if the barbell rests more in your mid-back, it's called a low bar squat. And I'm not going to go too deep into detail now about those two variations. So if you want to learn more, I do have a video about them, and I'll link to that down in the info section below. But the key difference between them has to do with the positioning of the torso. And this is important, guys. With the high bar squat, your torso moves up and down extremely upright, almost like a front squat. With the low bar squat, however, your torso assumes a much more bent over position similar to a deadlift. Now having said that, both variations require three things. Number one, excellent shoulder and chest mobility to get under the bar and grip it properly. Number two, excellent core control and lower back strength to prevent a lower back injury. And number three, there are other smaller yet very important form tweaks such as hip and knee positioning that can really make a difference when it comes to injury prevention and performance during each lift. So when does the safety squat bar come into play here? Well, the main reason why the safety squat bar is oftentimes superior to the standard squat is the fact that you don't have to worry about shoulder or chest mobility when grabbing the barbell because of the position of the hands and most importantly, the mechanics of the safety squat bar automatically lock your body in basically what could be called perfect form. So the question that you probably have in your mind right now is should you make the switch from the barbell to the safety squat bar? Well, let's dive in and take a look at the four main benefits of the safety squat bar now. Number one, the safety squat bar offers better core stability, less stress in the lower back, as well as less hip and knee stress too. This is because the safety squat bar sits a bit higher than a standard barbell does and the camber pushes you forward, forcing you to fight to stay upright. Therefore, you will be a bit more upright than a high bar squat and a lot more upright than a low bar squat. In general guys, the more upright your torso is, the less pressure is placed in your lower back and with the safety squat bar, the pressure will be displaced more towards your glutes and quads. And because of this, the safety squat bar helps prevent your core from collapsing, which will allow you to open up your hips and knees more freely, offering a mechanically advantageous position to squat with much more lower chances for an injury. In order to best demonstrate this, think about the difference between the deadlift and the squat. With the deadlift, the weight is in front of your center of gravity, which means that you absolutely need to use your back to pull the barbell off the floor. 
With the squat, however, the weight is almost directly on top of your center of gravity, which means there will be basically zero lower back strain when squatting. This is also super important to know because due to the fact that the safety squat bob places the load exactly on your center of gravity, it locks you into the perfect form position when squatting, like I mentioned earlier. So, if you have a really hard time with squat form, the safety bar can help you take full advantage of all the benefits of squatting. Number two, the safety squat bar is a comfortable squatting solution for people with limited shoulder mobility. Now, it should be no surprise that due to our mostly sedentary lifestyle, many people tend to be tight around the shoulders and chest and lower back area, which is certainly not natural, but it is typical. It's just how life is nowadays. Even if you train every single day, that is still only a few hours compared to the rest of the day where you work a desk job, possibly not moving much at all. In fact, 99% of the time, beginners will not have the shoulder mobility to get in a straight bar squat position, and their elbows will basically stop pointing backwards instead of down. This then results in their entire upper body collapsing over, making the squat particularly inefficient and very dangerous. Of course, the long-term solution is to work on your mobility utilizing a series of dynamic and static stretches, but that might take some time. So in the meantime, the safety squat bar can be an excellent alternative because there is zero external shoulder rotation due to that the handles are in front of your body. However, if you have excellent shoulder mobility, it's good to note here that being able to take your shoulders completely out of the equation when squatting can help with your overall shoulder preservation and recovery as well, especially if your chest and shoulder workouts are very taxing on your body. Number three, for those of you who are starting to look a bit like the Hunchback of Notre Dame, the safety squat bar can help fix your kyphotic posture as well. This is because over time, your body will adapt to what proper form feels like while simultaneously strengthening your core and legs. But most importantly, the safety squat bar will force you to maintain an upright torso position, preventing your chest from collapsing, thus strengthening the right muscle groups that help you hold a nice upright posture. In fact, as an overall movement, guys, you should think of the safety squat bar as the ultimate combination between front squats and deadlifts. Similarly to the front squat, you'll be in an upright torso position, but you won't have to fight your shoulders in order to keep your elbows and chest up throughout the movement. And like the deadlift, the safety squat bar will allow you to train your mid-back, thoracic extensors, and rhomboids and traps but without compromising your lower back. So for those of you who can't squat or deadlift well, the safety squat bar can really help take your training to the next level. And number four, the safety squat bar is highly versatile, making it compatible with many other lower body movements. Guys, it should go without saying or be pretty obvious that anytime you train with an exercise that can help make you stronger with other exercises in your training, you should be doing it. When it comes to the safety squat bar, because of how upright the form forces you to be, transitioning the strength and muscle you gain with it can help you get better at other exercises like box squats, suspended squats, good morning, zercher squats, front squats, and even walking lunges. However, you could perform the walking lunges with the safety squat bar as well if you wanted to. Now I know most of you guys probably prefer dumbbells, but you'll be able to use more weight with the safety squat bar without being limited by your grip strength. Also, if you do have shoulder mobility issues, you can't exactly perform a walking lunge with a straight barbell across your shoulders to its maximum potential if you're constantly fighting keeping your torso from collapsing over. So now that you've heard all the amazing benefits of the safety squat bar, should you ditch the straight barbell when it comes to squatting? That's the question here. Well, as always, guys, the answer is not a simple yes or no. The correct answer has to do with your preference, mobility, past injuries, and overall goals. Let's look at it this way. The safety squat barbell offers the same benefits as a straight barbell when squatting in terms of leg power, strength, and development. However, some people are limited by their shoulder or lower back mobility, and they cannot effectively and safely perform a squat using a standard barbell. If this sounds like you, then the safety squat barbell is exactly what you need. But even for a guy like me that can squat with near perfect form when using a straight barbell, 
I still find the safety squat barbell useful from time to time when I want to either give my shoulders or lower back a break. Even some of the world's top power lifters and strength athletes train their squats almost exclusively using the safety bar for the same reasons I mentioned in this video. So at the end of the day guys, if your gym has a safety squat barbell or you're thinking about getting one for your home gym, definitely go for it and I will link to you guys the Gronk safety squat barbell I use down in the info section below. I hope you enjoyed the information in this video and if you did, be sure to show some love and support by smashing that like button, subscribing if you haven't already, and clicking that bell. And as always guys, more good stuff coming soon. See ya.